uh, phase we have uh, seen how PNP and NPN transistor works. We have seen the how to take the observations of the uh, macro ammeters and uh, input voltage, the high resistance voltmeters, and how to use the milliammeters to find out the collector current and collected to emitter voltage with the high resistance second voltmeter for output reading. Now today we will uh, study about how to draw the input characteristics. To draw the input characteristics, we have to decide the value of the base to emitter voltage, which is taken along the x-axis. This very is the x-axis and y-axis. We put all the different values on the x-axis. Base voltage, base to emitter voltage is taken along the x-axis and base current is taken along y axis. We see that at a given constant value, collector current at 2 volt, it is seen that the graph is obtained in the upward direction, a curve line is obtained. Similarly, when we change the value of the collector current up to the 4 volt, and once again finding out the value of the base to emitter voltage, for which we get the different values of the base current, we see that we got the slope of the curve lines uh, which correspond to the point P and Q that give the change in base current and the R and S has been taken as any two point for two different values of the change in base to emitter voltage. So this very change in base current and change in base to emitter voltage, the ratio of the small change in the base to emitter voltage and change in base current give the input resistance of the transistor for NPN as well as for PNP. The condition is that collector voltage must be constant for a recalculation. Now we draw the output characteristics. For output characteristics, we once again take the x-axis for the collector to emitter voltage and y-axis for collector current. With the help of milliampere, we note down the values of the collector current and locate on the different scale on the y-axis and collector to emitter voltage is marked on the x-axis. It is also seen that for the 50 micro ampere of fixed current or base current, the collector voltage and the collector current also gives a curve line. When we change the value of the base current by making it fixed at 100 micro ampere, we once again get the variations of the collector voltage and collector current which gives a curve line. Now we decide any two values at the 50 micro ampere that correspond to the one initial point. We can write P and Q for change in collector voltage. R and S for the change in collective current. With the help of this very graph, we can find out the output resistance. Output resistance is defined as the ratio of the very small change in collective to emitter voltage to the very change in collective current. Under the condition that base current is kept constant. Under these two values, we can easily calculate the output resistance. Now the third point is that the purpose is to calculate the resistance gain. Resistance gain is the ratio of the output resistance to the input resistance. So with the help of the previous calculation of input resistance and output resistance, we can easily find the resistance gain. Now the third purpose to calculate current gain and voltage gain. This can be easily calculated but with the help of transfer characteristics. Third category of the characteristics of PMP and NPM transistor is that base current is taken along the x-axis and uh, collector current is taken along the y-axis. And by finding out the values of the base current along x-axis and collector current along y-axis, the number of points located, we 
locate the different number of points and by joining the line points from the origin we get a straight line. So in the transfer characteristic, the main point is that for the given value of the base current and collector can be get the straight line. And uh, collector emitter voltage at per volt is maintained constant. Now with the help of the two corresponding value for the two different values of the base current, we calculate the change in base current and for which some two different values of change of collector current can also be calculated with the help of the graph. For, with the help of that, we can easily calculate the current gain. Current gain is the term written in beta symbol. It is defined as the ratio of the small collector current to small base current when collector to emitter voltage is maintained constant. This is the fourth point for the current gain. Now the voltage gain can also be calculated AB which is equal to the current gain times the resistance gain. So the beta is the current gain which is delta IC by delta IV and uh, resistance gain is the output resistance to the input resistance. So with the help of this very formula, we can easily calculate the result of the PNP as well as the NPN transistor. Okay.